hi darling Charlotte was telling me about this pup in her crawl space and she's taking care of it now but she was wondering if you'd be interested in adopting it Martin are you all right um, I, um, I I made that trip to the doctor today oh dear I'm so sorry I forgot that was today well how did it go did he did he say yes? No. He said no. Oh. I'm sorry, honey. I know how much this means to you. Maybe we can still adopt one. Yeah? I'll, I'll make an appointment for thing no, tomorrow morning no, and- No! No! I can't go through with that! I can't go through with taking care of somebody else's kid! I can't. It's... If it's not my blood, then I don't want it. Oh, Martin. There's got to be another way. Please consider the other options. I've already given them some thought, Gloria. And my one chance of having a child of my own flesh and blood was thrown down the drain! Don't ever raise your voice at me. I'm your wife. I am not your father. <sighs> I'm sorry. I I really am. I, I don't know what came over me. I just need... I think I need more time to think. I, I can't decide right now. I'll be in the basement working if you need me. Again, I'm sorry, and we'll, we'll talk things over in the morning, okay? Good night. Good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Arthur Greywinder. Many of you may know me as the founder of Harmony Play Incorporation. You may also know of my brother. For the sake of keeping our spirits lifted, we will not mention his name. However, we will not forget the damage that he has caused. As many of you are aware, I was announced dead seven years ago. After being lost for so long, I was finally found on February 21st, 1993 by our wonderful police department. As much as I'd like to celebrate with all the kind welcomings you've all prepared, and as much as I'd like to change things back to the way they were before the nightmares, I can't bring myself to do it. 
Even the skin upon my face is nothing more than a fake replica of the past. Yes, it is true. My face isn't what it used to be. I wear plastic on my face to appear like the rest of you. But if I took it off, you'd see the freak he turned me into. Why, just this morning I woke up. I rubbed my green eyes and I took a look in the mirror. I couldn't even... I couldn't even recognize my own face. But then I smiled. I smiled and I saw myself. It reminded me that even though we may see ourselves as monsters, it's still us underneath. And that all it takes to resurface is for the ones we truly love to reach out to us and pull us back up. I hate to be the one to bring back the horrors. I know, I'm scared too. But the summer of 85 is long behind us. We can't change the past, but we can build a better future. You've all gifted me with so much love and hope. I wanted to return a favor. The building you see behind me is everything that you've given me and more. I'd like to welcome you all to the grand opening of the Harmony Arcadia, the home of happiness. This place is much more than just a source of entertainment. With its arcade gallery, toy store, and play area, it provides a temporary home for shelterless pets. It provides love and care at our new daycare center. It provides food and drinks with our new cafe. It provides protection with our surveillance system and security team, and much more. This place is everything I couldn't provide you all with back then. So I'm here to give it to you now. There is one thing that I did not mention. The scars of the past can't truly be healed or ignored without proper closure. I am no longer the only one to make it back home. Please, welcome back our brave miracles. The eight missing individuals that were taken from us those seven years ago. Home at last. You have no idea how hungry it makes me to see these beautiful people back in the arms of their brave families who came here today to retain what was stolen from them. We hope to see you here at Harmony Arcadia real soon. the matter? Oh, that's right. My eyes are missing. Well, don't be scared. Me and Stitch Buddy were just playing a game of tag when I stumbled over a rock and fell apart. Do you think you can help me get back together? You will? Well, aren't you just the sweetest thing? Sweeter than a strawberry ice cream. First, you gotta help me find my arm. You found it! Now just help me put it back in place! Wonderful! I guess you can say you gave me a hand! <laughs> now where is my other arm? There 
it is. Great job! Now just push that one back in place. Terrific! I gotta hand it to you. You handled that like a champ. <laughs> hmm. Now I just need my legs. Can you see where my legs are? Good job! Now just snap it back in place. Way to go! That's got some kick to it. <laughs> Now find my other leg. Fantastic! Now just place it on back. Awesome job! Now you're reaching my standards. <laughs> Alright! All that's left to do is find my eyes. Can you see my eyes? Come on, use your peepers to find the peepers. Do you see it? Where is it hiding? He's hiding. Hide. Are you scared? job! You found my eyes! Now just put them on back in my sockets. How was your council meeting? Well, the thing is, is, um, there was no council meeting. Oh. Well, wait, what do you mean? Okay. Uh, Martin, do you remember how these past few weeks I told you I wasn't feeling well? Y yeah, I remember that. And how you said I should see a doctor, and I said I'll be fine. <laughs> yes. Is there something wrong? No, no. Well, you see, there was no meeting because I made an appointment with the doctor and, well... Why? I... Oh, come on, you... I don't understand. This is... This isn't... Is this what I think it is? I, is this real? Are, are, are you... Are, are we? Am, am I gonna be a... Oh. <laughs> a father! You're going to be a father! No, this, this can't be. I mean, this is fantastic, but this just 
can't be true. The doctor said I would never be able to bear a child. They said your chances were little to none, and yet here we are! A child of your own blood. This is... well, this is a miracle! It's a miracle! It's, <laughs> this is fantastic! I can't believe it! Our own baby boy! Oh, I mean... Do we know? Did they say? Did they say what a little be? Yes, yes. A beautiful baby boy. It's, it's a boy. Oh, it's a boy! Oh, it's a boy! Oh, I just knew you'd be so happy to hear. Oh, just wait till Arthur hears about this. He's gonna lose his mind when he finds out that he's gonna be an uncle. Uh, I'm sure he's gonna be a proud uncle. And you'll be a wonderful father. Just imagine. You, me, and our miracle child. <sighs> yeah. Our miracle child. dangerous place, and it can be hard to ensure the safety of our children. Not every guard dog is fit to guard, and the same can be said about you as a parent. That's why we put our trust in the hands of the Henry Security Puppet, here at the Harmony Arcadia. After all, we humans aren't bulletproof, but with the state-of-the-art Kevlar-infused resin-casted body shell, the Henry Security Puppet can stand against any firearm. As for long-range problems, 
Henry is equipped with extendable spring-like limbs. They can stretch up to 50 feet away. These high-tech puppets also come with a built-in criminal database and with their concealed optical cameras, they'll be able to spot any potential threats before they enter the building. We've divided our Henry security puppets into three categories. The first is Playtime Henry. Playtime Henry is responsible for keeping naughty children in order, ensuring that no child breaks the rules. That includes no fighting, no stealing, no bad language, no playing with harmful objects, and most importantly, to always have fun. The next category is Trooper Henry. Trooper Henry is responsible for monitoring incriminating behavior from adults, making sure that all adults respect the rules. These rules include no smoking, no drinking, no firearms or concealed weapons, no bad language, no stealing, no fighting, no standing five feet near a child that isn't their own, no trespassing to authorized personnel only territory, no flash photography, no video cameras, and no tampering with the security or any other mascots. The final category is Commander Henry. Commander Henry is responsible for all the other Henry security puppets and gives commands for every action a Henry puppet makes. Commander Henry is also responsible for what punishment a rule breaker will receive. If you are face to face with Commander Henry, you better believe you've done something wrong. Together, they will ensure you and your family's safety, so stay out of trouble and let your guard down because that's the job for the Henry security puppets. Protecting your playtime, it's their top priority. Martin? Martin? Martin! There you are! You told me you took Thomas to school, but here I am, getting a call from the school saying that Thomas wasn't there today. Are you listening to me? You know, Arthur demoted me. That broadcast incident really sent him over the edge. But, because I'm his brother, he gave me the job of mascot performer. <laughs> Honey, I understand how much that upsets you, but are you listening to me? What does it have to do with Thomas? Where is he? Where is our son? Our son? <laughs> What has gotten into you? This isn't like you. You're scaring me. How long did you think it would take for me to find out? Or did you think that I wouldn't find out at all? Martin, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you lie to me. Did you lie to them too? Does Thomas know? Does Macy know? Martin, stop it. I already called Arthur to take us away from here because you have been out of control. And where are you going to go? He's already gone. He left without you. He left without the kids. No. no. No, what did you do to him? Where's my son? Where is my boy? Where is he, Martin? You have 30 seconds to get the girls and get as far as you can. Start. Running. Oh. oh God. One. Oh God, please no. Two. No. Three. Four. Five. We were sailing along. One Love.
was all sweet song on moonlight day. We were sailing along on Sweet song.